the setup. And I wanted it to stay true to the way you would have done the cars in the you know, late 80s or 90s. So I took it. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures. It's Peanut, I'm James. Welcome to Peanuts Automotive Adventures, where every day is an automotive adventure for us. Uh, before we get into today's video, y'all can kind of see what we got behind us, but we'll get to that. But we want to give an official shout out to our, our, our official sponsors. GraphicSpotVA.com. You know what I'm saying? Reach out to them. Peanuts pointing to their website. Uh, anything graphic related, graphic design, decals, hats, t-shirts promotional items, yard signs, all that stuff. Uh, team Run It, reach out to them. Next sponsor. Innovative, Innovative Powders, anything powder coated. Uh, he's out of the Prince George, Virginia area. Uh, all my local guys, reach out to him. I know y'all got some of those uh, automotive uh, ideas, creations, projects that need to be powder coated. Uh, he does a great job with that. He even does ATVs, dirt bikes, wheels, uh, what else he? What else we be seeing online? He be doing. He he does a lot when it comes to powder coating, y'all. So, and sir, coating. So reach out to uh, Innovative Powders, right, yeah. Peanut? All right. Today's video, we was invited down by Mr. Michael Tillett. Uh, he's in charge of the uh, OBX um, car show, right down here at the Outer Banks, North Carolina car show down here in Nags Head, uh, North Carolina, and he invited us down to his man cave and to look at some of his uh, car shows and creations, y'all. So, you know, we're gonna turn this camera around to Mr. Michael Tillett and get him to talk about, uh, first of all, his car show. You know, his car show is amazing, Team Run It. Y'all need to come down here. Uh, it's May uh, 1st, 2nd, right? May, right, Peanut? Yeah, yeah, there we go. My, nope, I'm wrong. May 2nd, 3rd, 2025. Y'all need to come down here to the Outer Banks. You know, if y'all look, look at my video from back in May, and y'all gonna figure out why y'all need to come down here. No matter what condition your car is in, come down here, it's a whole vibe down here. Everybody is vibing with each other. The common denominator is cars. So y'all come on down here and hang out with us. Hang out with us. Hang out with me and Peanut when y'all come down here too. We gonna be looking for y'all team running because we gonna keep mentioning it all the way to the date comes. We gonna get on y'all nerves with this. All right, let me turn this camera around. We have Mr. Michael Tiller here today, and I'm, you know, I want Mr. Tiller to talk about his event next year, May second and third, here at the, in the, in the Outer Banks. How's everything going? Appreciate you coming down. Appreciate you coming down, Peanut. Um, always a pleasure having you guys hanging out. So, um, if you want to know about our Rod and Custom Festival, our Rod and Custom Festival 2025 will be May 2nd and 3rd, 2025, here on the beautiful Outer Banks, held in Nags Head, North Carolina. This event that we do, we do it for the love of the hobby, the love of the cars, family fun and fellowship, but most of all, we do it for charity. We've got a charity that we work for, the Children and Youth Partnership of their county, plus we do it to the toy run, we do food for thought, we do different charitable organizations for kids here on the Outer Banks with this event. Um, over the last five years, we've been able to donate uh, over 125 grand back to the community with this event. And this could not be possible without everyone that comes down to support this event. And we, first of all, want to thank everyone on behalf of Garage Band Charities, um, which Garage Band Charities consists of myself, Richard Quigley, and Sarah Hull, and we put on the OBX Ride and Custom Festival here on the beautiful Outer Banks. And we just uh, want to thank everyone uh, for you know supporting this event. The, the way this event kind of works, it's not like a typical car show where you're in show car jail 
wait for a trophy at 3 o'clock. This event is set up for everyone, family, the whole family comes. You can come down, you can go to the beach, you can hang out. If you want to, uh, if you're an early bird and you want to get up and go to breakfast, we do a cruise in breakfast at a few of our um, local restaurants. The event site opens up at 10 a.m. for our event to start. You can come in, you can hang out. When you get bored there or finish, you know, doing what you're doing there, getting something to eat, food trucks or vendors or whatever, we've got another spot over in Matteo, Kelly Automotive. You can go over there and hang out. Get tar there. We've got different things going on throughout the beach from Matteo to Kitty Hawk. We do a beach road cruise. We do cruise ins at night. Um, it's just family fun and fellowship. And, and for those of you who come early, we call you guys the early birds. The, the Thursday um, would be May the 1st from noon until 6. We do an early bird open cruise in and restoration pickup. Um, over the last few years, we've had people come in and stay a whole week. And they started different clubs and started hosting Prop 2 cruising events all through the week before the event starts. So just wanted to let people know, if you do come early, pay attention to Facebook and some of the different uh, car groups that come in. They'll be posting things going on throughout the week before the event even starts. But just want to give you a heads up and just want to thank you all again. And don't forget, OBS Rod and Custom Festival 2025. This is the poster for 2025, Save the Date. Save the Date. Hey, one thing I want to add, Mike, to this too okay. is uh, before we uh, cut to the to, to the next uh, uh, you know thing that we're going to do uh, is you uh, team running. I want y'all to remember: it don't matter what you drive. Don't classic, new school, old school, uh, a project that needs to restore. It doesn't matter. This event when we came down in May, I was so impressed with the different array of vehicles that showed up to your event. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to uh, point that out. If you got to even, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to call them jalopies, but rolling projects. It don't have to be a show car, man. Everybody was just down here vibing and having a great time. I just wanted to add that. Like we like to say, you know, under construction, if yes. you got a car that you're cruising, and a lot of people cruise their projects while they're working on them. So when you start, long as you've got seats, brakes, seat belts, and, and everything that you can uh, drive legally on the road with, bring it down and then we can watch your progress through the years. Yes. Just like we had a uh, young lady had a car that uh, she started out, had no interior, just had seats, seat belts. She came in and we watched that car go from her project to a finished project this past year. And that's just cool to see. So. Bring it down. Don't think you're driving a piece of junk. Nobody's car is a piece of junk. Everybody's, no. everybody's car is in different stages. Exactly. Bring it. Enjoy your car. Enjoy your car. That's one thing I appreciate about your event. And the other appreciative things I appreciated was seeing pro mods on the street. Actual <laughs> pro mods, you know, drag cars on the street. It was an amazing event. Uh, our plan is for now on, and you stated to me before, if you come down once, you're going to come down every year. And I agree with that statement. Yes, if, we, if you can come down one time and see what it's all about, you'll definitely come back. Yes, sir. All right, today, uh, Team Running, we came down too because Mike wanted to share his Monte Carlo SS with us. And, you know, we're going to let Mike explain his journey with his Monte Carlo SS and what got him to this point with his Monte Carlo SS. It's an amazing car, Team Running. Uh, look, at, look at Peanut. Peanut's in agreement, right? Let me focus your green head. Let me see. Yeah, he's in agreement. It's an amazing car. And we just wanted to uh, share other people's car stories because me and Team Run it, it's more than life than just me and Peanut and our car stories. And we just want to share the automotive community uh, stories with you guys online through our YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and let Mike talk. Okay. Thank you again for coming down and being willing to do this and I really appreciate it. Like I said before, it's always nice hanging out with you guys. This is my 1985 Monte Carlo SS. 
the story on this car is, for once, since I was probably Peanut's age, if not younger, I've always wanted a car that would be nice enough to put in a magazine. That was my dream from when I started looking at Hot Rod magazines when I was in grade school. So I ended up being blessed to be able to uh, build one with the help of, the help of friends and a couple different shops and things like that. Um, like I said, this is a 1985 Monte Carlo, and I wanted the best of all the G-bodies in one car. Um, I love a G-body. I have right many different Monte Carlos, but I like the Buick Grand, Grand National, I like the Hearst Oldsmobile 442 um, Grand Prix, all the best of G-bodies. So what I ended up doing is taking the 1985 Monte Carlo SS and putting a 3.8 liter V6 turbo motor and drivetrain out of a Buick Grand National. Um, so this is what you see here. Um, you don't see very many Monte Carlos with the Grand National setup. And I wanted it to stay true to the way you would have done the cars in the you know, late 80s or 90s. So I took the stock wheels. These wheels are off of a 1987 Monte Carlo. Okay. Aluminum wheels. Sent them out west and got them chrome plated. Had the uh, rear wheels, got them from a buddy of mine. They were wide and 15 by 10s, but they are actually the Monte Carlo SS wheels, 15 by 10s. They give it that, uh, they, they street machine look is what they call it now, but back in the day it was just as a hot rod. Gotcha. You gotcha. know, that's what they call it now. Well, I, I like the stance. Yeah, and you know it gives it that good stance. Nice stance, and yeah. it's been dropped two inches all the way around. Um, the move to the interior. The, the interior is stock appearing, but it's done in the uh, tuxedo, which is a cream. People call it white, but it's really a cream and black. Her slight and right shifters. The Grand uh, Grand Prix console. Um, I moved, the, moved all the um, switches from the doors and put them in the center. The two switches over here opens the doors and the two switches over there opens the windows, close the windows. Um, so that's, that's what's been done. Um, door handle shades, mirror, sh mirror shade, um, no mirrors, no door handles. Um, I took the antenna off the fender, uh, got the antenna in the window. Shave the uh, shave shave the trunk latch. Pop it to get in the trunk, so no hole for your trunk. Just just did a, a lot of little things that a lot of people don't even notice. It's it's painted with a PPG Superjet black, and I've got to thank my uh, good buddy David Sawyer from here in Manteo, he painted his car and did an awesome job. Underneath the car, it looks as immaculate as a top. The floor panel is just like this, and then all polished stainless exhaust. Um, a, lot of, a lot of goodies underneath. Usually when I show it in a car show, it's up so you can see all that good stuff. But that, that's, that's what this is, and we started working on this car in, in 05. Okay. And this car was a 10 year build off and on. Mm. I started on the car, stopped, you know, kind of life gets in the way, you have to put it on the back burner, but you go back to it. That's why I call it OBX SS The Dream, because it was a dream of mine, and I didn't let anything get in the way. Things slowed it down, but I still got it done. Hey, are you hearing on peanut? That dream, right? Yeah, you, that you, dream. Just, you just got to, you just got to keep going for it, you know, because, you know, everything doesn't happen overnight, and like the old folks used to say, when you got sh champagne taste and beer wallet, as they say. Ah, yeah, you got, that's, you a got to, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You've got to, you know, just take your time and you know, let it all come up, come about it. Yeah. And, you know, going from this to the OBS Rod and Custom Festival, this car here and the people that help with this, um, like I always say, this is not my car anymore. This the car, car belongs to the Autobikes. Gotcha. Because what we've done, we've used this car 
and myself to go around all over the United States promoting the Outer Banks, getting people to come here, getting equity in Team OBSSS. And then uh, I started that journey in 2013. And from 2013 to 2019, I basically started telling people that I wanted to do an event down here. Mm -hmm. And 2019, the event came to pass. Mm -hmm. Backing up, I got up with my good buddy Richard Quigley, because he always did the bike rallies here, or had a lot to do with the bike rallies. And I loved the way they did their rallies. So I went to him and said, listen, I've got an idea I would like to put on a car event. I don't want a car show, I want an event. So we're trying to figure out what to name it and this, that, and the other. So we all sit down and, and talk about it and, and this, that, and the other. And, uh, Dana was telling me, she says, you know, you want it to be some type of a festival yeah. instead of just a car show. That's so a we idea. came up with the name OBX Rod and Custom Festival. And that encompasses everyone, family, you know, a lot of the ladies and the wives, they don't go to car shows, but they'll come to a festival. Yeah. And what we have to offer on our banks, you know, it, it makes it all work. So. From, like I said, from 2013 to 19, we worked on trying to get this thing going. Went to Richard, he said he would be happy to come on board. Then he uh, recruited uh, a young lady that worked for him, Sarah Ho, to come in and help us with it. And and us three, we started doing this uh, this event. And it's, it's worked out well, and we've gotten sponsors and volunteers and things like that. And like this, like I said, we started in, in 19, and this was our, what, it's six years, six seven years? Year. Yeah. Uh, this, yeah. So um, that's how it kind of came about, just taking this thing out and people getting to know who I am and what we were all about and what we were trying to do. And so I say this car belongs to uh, the OBX, OBX now. That's why I call it the OBX SS. Yeah, I, I, I got that. Hold on, let me get it again. So, so that's, that's yeah. what it's OBX SS. So that's the story behind it. You yeah. just gave me the story behind it. Yeah. And um, one thing I do know, and every, every all the attendees when I when we came in 2024 stated that this event keeps growing. Yes. It gets bigger and bigger every year. Yes. It, you it know, does, it does get it just gets bigger and bigger and. You know, we're probably going to have to have a point, we'll probably come to a point where we're going to have to have to cut off because it's getting so, so big. Yeah. Um, we're not there yet, so don't panic everyone. So, um, but we're going to get to a point where we're going to either have to do a cut off for a year break or something to keep everything, you know, yeah. so everybody can enjoy it. Because we'd rather have a quality event instead of a quantity and everybody's, you know, not having a good time because they're um, not, not being able to being able to get around and things like that, so that's what we're trying to, you know, just trying to keep it, keep it flowing, keep it moving. Hey, thank you, uh, Mr. Tiller, for sharing your event with us and also sharing your the OBX uh, SS with us. You know what I'm saying? It's it's dear to my heart. I remember meeting you at the car show. You might not remember, but the car show up in Metal Event Park mm -hmm. when we first met. Yeah, I remember always seeing this car. Walked up on it. I'm a G body guy. Peanut's a G body guy and a GTR guy. That's another story. Nissan GTR guy. But uh, when I seen that Grand National motor in it, it was like, yeah, uh, it had my full attention, and that's when we got to talking with each other and whatnot. And we've been friends ever since. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. I uh, really value that. That's, yeah, that's and great. I value that. You know, and, and the common denominator, what brought us to becoming friends, was the automobile. Oh, that's right. That's automobile. Right. So. And also, don't get me wrong, I made a lot of friends at your event this, this year, too. Good, I'm glad. You know that's what saying? it's all about, family exactly. fun and fellowship, man. Exactly. That's, that's what it's all about, family fun and fellowship and, and just having a good time. And We want people to come down and spend uh, as much time as they can and get to know the area and, and things like that. So, you know. All right, T-Rod, I'm just going to give y'all a little snippet. I ain't going to say too much, but... Mr. Tillett invited us to come back down at a later date and time because he has another project right there that we are going to talk about a little bit. Not today, though. I'm just going to give y'all a little snippet. That's it. No more. No more. That's it. Back on Mr. Tillett.
So we go ahead and close out this video. And he, uh, you know, I'm so proud and humbled that he invited us down to his uh, man cave right here. You know, we was able to interview him. You know, and that's what we're trying to do in this facility is get other people's stories out when it comes to the automobile. Uh, also, with you guys telling it, telling, with you telling your story, you're teaching me lessons, and uh, of course you're going to teach, you're teaching peanut lessons. Yeah. So that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? I always state this that it's bigger than cars. That's right. It it's is. bigger than cars. Yeah, it it's is. bigger than cars. It's hard for me to explain it, but it's bigger than cars. Yeah. And it's all about the journey and the friendships made along the way. And, and that's and that's what it's all about. Just like the little tidbit you showed about this. Yeah. This is my lady's car, and you'll be here. I can't her. show them no more, Mike. Can't I can't show them no more. Look, 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 look. I saw it down there in the corner. I got to move over. I yeah. can't show them no show more. That's for a later date and time. Exactly, because yeah. I, I I want her to tell her story about this one. Correct, <laughs> correct. So so we we gonna come back down and, and and let and let her share her story. You know what I'm saying? Because not only do men have stories. Women have stories. Women's are, women are into motorsports. Women are into cars. So we want to share her story, Mike. So exactly. keep running. Be, be prepared for that uh, video at, at a later date and time. And, and one more thing for you before you go. Um, if you want to scan around the garage, you're more than can't. You, you, you're more than welcome. Because this hobby here, that's where it starts. Go ahead. Tell them again. Tell them this again. hobby right here. It starts right there at about this age right here, if not younger. So if you've got a young lady or a young gentleman that's in the cars, the only thing different is the older they get, the bigger the toys they get. That's correct. I agree with you on that one. So this is where it starts. Because this is where it all started for me too, Mike. Yeah. You know, every Christmas I used to get a set and, and things of that nature as, a, as, as Peanut's age. Right. And uh, it was ingrained in me from my dad. I appreciate what my dad right. did for me when it came to cars. Uh, you and, know. and I tell you, my mom and my aunt, every Christmas, birthday, or any kind of thing, any kind of holiday that you got gifts, they all, always gave me a car. Yeah. And, and I still have one. Yeah, that, and that's a great memory it's right there, too, man. Man. But that's, that's, where, that's where it starts, right here. Before I shut this camera off, that was my first event and not my last, right here. <laughs> that poster. And it ain't our last, right, Peanut? Yeah. Yeah, we we coming back every year. It's a must. 